Hey love, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. It's imperative to say Happy New Year because this is my first full-length video here on YouTube in 2024 and I hope you and yours have had an amazing start to the year. Now if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, what's up? <laughs> Let's take a second to hit the subscribe button so we can connect and become fragrance friends. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at my fragrance trail. Now today's video is all about some hidden gem Arabic fragrances that you must get your nose on now i've had some of these for a while and i acquired some recently but i'm loving them and you i mean i have to share we don't get people over here so you definitely need to smell them I'd like to know what these are why don't you get set to get hydrated let's get into the video <music> So before I begin, I have a question. So recently, a lovely follower of mine on Instagram said my voice reminds her of Farhana Bodhi's voice from um, Dubai Blink. Is that so? Do you see the similarities? Let me know in the comments. Now, for all of my life, uh, my voice has been one of my biggest insecurities and up until maybe two years ago. Um, that I fell in love with myself and I just took on my voice as my unique trait and have been loving it since then. So it's going to be amazing knowing that there's someone else whose voice sounds like mine because, yeah, this voice has had me bullied, it's had me go through a lot. And just knowing that someone else who has this raspy voice warms my heart. So let me know in the comments what you think. Now let's really talk about the fragrances, which is why you're here. <laughs> We're going to start off with a gorgeous fragrance by the brand Ajmo, and this is called Evoke Silver Edition for her. Now, be careful because there's an Evoke Silver, and that is for men. I think the bottles are pretty similar, but this one is for her. Now, this is what it looks like, and this is just like a futuristic packaging, which I am so obsessed with. Evoke Silver for her now is... All about your tonka, your vanilla. You know, it has a woody base to it. And this is their take on Poison Girl by Dior. If you've been trying to get that fragrance, it's pretty pricey, inaccessible. Look no further than Evoke Silver for her. This is such a warm, powdery fragrance that lasts so long. It's very, very feminine. There's something just girly about it. And it's actually been in the market since 2016, but not a lot of people talk about it. And I just love wearing this when I want to feel very feminine, very girly. It brings something, you know, to my aura, to my vibe when I wear it. And actually listed this as one of my favorite Arabic Gourmand fragrances um, recently. And this is just a gorgeous one to have. If you love your powdery notes, think just literally Poison Girl. Almond lovers, this one is for you. Yes, I believe there's a note of al almond in this fragrance and you're just going to love it. It has a sugariness to it as well. I know it mentions the note of bitter orange. I really don't get that in this fragrance, but this is just a sweet powdery scent that just lifts you up and makes you feel girly. It's a gorgeous one to have. If you haven't checked it out, please do. This is Evoke Silver Edition for her by Ajmo. Next is Thug by Latafa, and this to me is a silent offering by the brand. I say silent because this came out in 2022, and I'm surprised it's not a huge hit. Thug is their take on the Lena exclusive, and the other popular dupe is, you know, sweeping the market. It's consistently selling out. So why isn't this one also getting the attention? Um, before we go in, just this is what the bottle looks like. It's a silver, I don't want to call it like a ball. It looks like a disco ball. And the cap is made of a dark blue uh, rose, rose or rose petals. And yeah, it's a uniquely designed or crafted bottle, as is a lot of um, Latafa packaging. Now, Thuck... Mm, it's such an alluring fragrance. It draws people in. It has a creamy quality to it. It has all the elements you expect of in the Lena exclusive with the keynotes of lychee, rose, vanilla. Those are present in this fragrance. However, what stands out to me is the absence of the smokiness. That incense base that you get in the Lena exclusive. I am a fan of that. And I do know some people don't enjoy that with that fragrance. They think it makes it too intense. 
If you're not a fan of that, count yourself lucky because Doc absolutely delivers. It's more on the creamy side of the Lina exclusive. It's more on the warm side of the Lina exclusive. It takes away that smokiness that makes it sort of addictive. Um, so if you're not a fan of that, get your hands on talk. But if you enjoy it like I do, you may not really enjoy talk. What I love to do with it is I love to wear this with clubbed in with white imperial, which I am so obsessed with. Combine both together. Oh my goodness. The sillage, the central, like I've gotten so many compliments whenever I wear that layering combo together. I would say though that I don't enjoy wearing this alone just because it's too creamy for my liking. I don't know why this is creamy. It comes up that way. But again, some people enjoy it. Overall, this is a decent one from Latafa. It's long lasting as well. And you should definitely check it out. Like I said, it came out in 2022 and it deserves a lot of love. This is Stuck by Latafa. And talking about Latafa, I hope you've gotten the new fragrance called Teriyak. The one that was done in collaboration with master perfumer Quentin Bish. Oh my gosh, I am falling in love with that fragrance over and over again because it reminds me of one of my absolute favorite fragrances, La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which was also created by Quentin Beach. So it's like, oh my gosh, great. You have that fragrance smelling like my all-time favorite fragrance. But anyway, I digress. The next one, and the reason actually I brought that up is because this next fragrance called Private Key to My Success by Armoff is a collaboration between Armoff and Quentin Bish. Now, a lot of people do not know that he has collaborated with other Middle Eastern fragrance houses, not just Latafa. You also have Amwash. I mean, he made Guidance, which was the number one fragrance in 2023. And of course, there is Private Key to My Success by Armoff, which is, in my understanding, the first collaboration he did, at least in 2023, with a Middle Eastern brand, okay? So this is private key to my success. This is what the bottle looks like. It literally embodies the element of success. You have a key right in front of it, and I just love the packaging. It's pretty sleek with the muted take on gray. Now, private key to my success, what does it smell like? Ugh. This is for those who enjoy their very spicy fragrances. I would say this leans more masculine. So if you enjoy the notes of like vetiver, bergamot, pepper, those are the kind of notes you're going to get in this fragrance. And it is potent. It is very, very strong. This is one that you only do two sprays and you're good. Whenever I wear this, I do two on both shoulders. That's one here, one here. And then I spray a third and walk through it because... This has one of the most delicious atomizer. I can only describe it as delicious because it rains. Like it just gives you a lovely offering of your fragrance, like a shower. It is, oh, I love it. And you get that with private key to my success. I don't want to spray because like I said, this is very potent and this whole space is going to start smelling like this. And I already have a fragrance on. But private key to my success, again, masculine leaning very intense. This will make a fantastic gift for a man, or if you're a woman, like I said, who enjoys that very spicy, fresh, aromatic notes, this is the one for you. It carries the aura of success. Like when you're wearing this, I can imagine you're going to a conference, a TED talk, you're about to go give a speech on how to make money to a group of people who are looking at you eagerly and just wanting to learn. This is what this fragrance smells like. You have to be confident when wearing private key to my success. Now, this is also a part of a uh, collection. It's called the private key collection. Yes, there is private key to my love, to my heart. This to me was the favorite of that line, okay? It's a gorgeous one, underrated, and you should definitely check it out. Private Key to My Success by Armoff. Now, this next fragrance, when I got it, I was just curious because I saw the bottom, like there is no way these folks were able to get past production and came out with this. But you see what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Privé Turquoise, and can you guess what this is supposed to be a dupe of? <laughs> this is by the brand Empa. And this is their take on Blue Turquoise, Armani Privé Blue Turquoise by Giorgio Armani. If you know that fragrance, you know that this is an outright dupe from the bottle, the packaging, down to the scent. Like, 
they did not come to play. They're like, I don't care what happens. I'm making this. <laughs> the only difference, of course, is this is more rectangular as opposed to blue turquoise, which is, you know, smaller, shorter in the weight packaging, more boxy. Now, this is what it looks like up close. It has that bluish turquoise tone. The cap as well mimics what you have in the original packaging. And this really smells like that. Now, blue turquoise is a fragrance that has a cold following because it has a unique take on vanilla. It's more like a salty, incense fragrance. You know, it's literally the best vanilla for summertime. Think like you just stepped out of the beach and not just a random beach, the beach in like an island. So you're drenched in sea salt and then you have like vanilla oil all over you. So the mixture of the salt and the vanilla, oh, it is so intoxicating, that fragrance. And that is sort of the vibe you're getting with Privé Talkwise. Now, this brand Emper, I think they are recent... Um, company or they're new in the market basically because they just came out and out of nowhere they popped out in fact you're not going to find a lot about them in terms of research or learning about the history they're just stocked in a few uh retailers okay now this smells just like blue turquoise i'm not even kidding you However, it has that perfumey vibe to it, very alcoholy in the opening and even when it dries down. If you're ready to get past that, and um, which makes a lot of sense because this costs less than $20. So <laughs> for you to expect to get a 100%, you know, replica of the original thing, which is over $300, I mean, come on now. But this once you get past the opening and the dry down, you really enjoy this fragrance. It has the saltiness. It has the vanilla. It has a slight incense part as well. And it just gets addictive. Now, this doesn't last too long. I would say maybe you can get about three, four hours before it becomes a skin scent. But that's okay. You don't want that sort of fragrance that has a sort of a cord to be too intense, especially in summertime, which is the only time you really want to wear this. But I like it a lot. And if you want to feel off that gorgeous fragrance called Blue Turquoise, you should definitely check this out. This is Privé Turquoise. <laughs> I just can't get past the bottle. Privé Turquoise by the brand Empa. And oh, they made so many others within this uh, line, uh, Armani Privé line. So check them out. I'm not interested in getting them. But if you are, I'll put the link in the description. Next, I've got Blueberry Mosque by RBF Prestige. And this, to me, is a sweeter take on Fenty by Fenty. Now, this fragrance, <laughs> you will literally smell like a blueberry dessert. Now, think blueberry muffins. That's what you're going to smell like with this fragrance it is sweet from the top to the dry down when well, the dry down it gets a bit powdery but this is a sweet fruity fragrance if you're a fan of blueberries you have to love and have this fragrance now the bottle is nothing exceptional you know for what it's going uh, for i mean they did pretty neat but the color is an ode to blueberries of course now, this also has a note of freesia, which is a bit powdery, and you get that powderiness in the dry down coupled with the sweetness. The sweetness doesn't go away, okay? Just be aware of it. If you want to smell like literal blueberry muffins, this is the one for you. It's a delicious fragrance, absolutely. Now, I call this a sweeter take on Fenty because Fenty has the blueberry notes. It also has a patchouli, which is present in this fragrance as well. There's something slightly earthy about this as it settles in. Again, the sweetness doesn't disappear, okay? And Fenty is a fragrance that has a sweet patchouli vibe going with it. Uh, it gets a bit spicy, which is not what you get here. This is more sweet, earthy, powdery. That's the baseline of this fragrance. And it stays that way as it dries down with the sweetness just taking the center stage. Nonetheless, oof. I love to smell this sometimes. Like, oh my gosh, this smells absolutely delicious. It also slightly reminds me of Deep and Desire Yet by EBK Performs, which I am obsessed with. 
this will get you a lot of compliments okay this is a strong fragrance and it retails for less than twenty dollars this is good now there is no uh, identifiable date on when this was released but i would say based on my research i would say this came out at about 2022 which is of course, a year after Fenty was created. RBA Prestige has so many fragrances. Y'all are sleeping on them. And this is one you should check out. Now, also from the brand RBA Prestige, this one I just love. It's called Zaha Lac. And you just have to look at this bottle. It's just pretty nice. It's not doing anything extraordinary with it. But I just like holding it for some weird reason. Now, how did I stumble on this fragrance? First of all, it's not listed on Fragrantica compared to the other Arabian fragrances that are listed. This one, I think I was searching on one of my favorite Arabic retailer sites looking for something with caramel because ugh, I love my caramel fragrances. And I typed it, that in and this came out. I was curious because it also had rum in it. Hmm, interesting. What am I going to get? I will tell you what I'm getting. Zahel Lac to me is what I wanted Ragba by Latafa to be. If you know me, you know I cannot stand Ragba. I think it's just. <clears throat> mm. Anyway, <laughs> but Zahel Lac does it for me. It brings in that sweetness. The caramel here is darkened. The rum here just it shines through. You have some oud in here as well. So it's just a perfect fall fragrance this is one that sets the tone of the end of the year you're ready to party it's like you're sitting in front of a fireplace and you're having just a nice cocktail that is the vibe Zaha Lac is given this is a perfectly unisex fragrance it will stick to your clothes that sweetness from the caramel doesn't disappear and I love it it has a slight bitterness from the oud but that is okay the caramel still washes it out making it present but if you sniff a little a little slightly sorry you are going to get that bitterness but it's not something that is front and center i am obsessed with it so you can check this out or check them out this is zahra lac by rbf prestige next is a fragrance in one of the most regal packaging that i have seen in such a long time i'm talking about iman by latafa and look at this bottle okay just look at how regal it looks how luxurious it looks it's made of velvet you know and this blue is such a stunning shade my goodness this looks like something you're going to find in a castle in my opinion there's just something very elegant about it you know <laughs> now iman is for those who enjoy the very opulent, creamy fragrances, very lush floral notes like tuberose, you know, marigold, orange blossom. If you're a fan of those, you would absolutely adore Iman. And uh, it is creamy, it's thick, it's quite dense, but a very, very enjoyable one at that. Now, Iman is Latafa's take on My Way Intense by Armani. And this has been in market since 2022, but I don't think it's gotten as much hype as it truly, truly deserves because this is a strong performer. I mean, it's going to stay on your clothes all day. You're going to get compliments with this fragrance. It has a great sillage. It's a room filler. There is nothing not to love about Iman as a fragrance and the packaging. Oh, I am obsessed with it. <laughs> Now, this is one that I cannot wait to fully wear in springtime. I filmed a springtime Arabic fragrance list, and Iman was definitely top of the list for me. It's just like you're literally in a garden. And this is one you want to wear for like a garden-themed party, a springtime party, or just brunch or going out. This just sparks a feeling of happiness, you know? There's something bubbly about it as well. But at the same time, there's something safe about the way you smell because flowers you know it just creates that warmth around you <laughs> and you're going to just have that aura that vibe with you when you wear iman oh i just love sniffing it too it's just a glorious fragrance so if you're into floral notes and or if you love my way you smelled it before and you think it's so pricey or you cannot get your hands on it please do not sleep on iman balatapa they did an amazing 
absolutely amazing job with this fragrance. Next, I've got Mystic Bouquet by Afnan. And oh my gosh, look at the color choices here. I am obsessed. <laughs> now look at them. We have Emerald and Sapphire. Oh, with gold. This to me is so beautiful. The ombre combination is just uh, mwah, chef's kiss in my opinion. Now, Mystic Bouquet is a recent launch. I mean, it came out at the end of 2023, but only started getting into the market at the beginning of 2024. And this is for those that love their clean girl vibe or clean girl type fragrances. Here you got some musk and ambroxan. You know, ambroxan is a molecule used to enhance fragrances. Then you have a sweet note of Lily of the Valley, adding just a sweetness to the fragrance. This, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> with the musky note, is Afnan's take on the Liar by Parfum de Mali. If you love that fragrance, if you've been wanting that fragrance, can I ask you to think about getting Mystic Bouquet? Because Afnan did their big one with this fragrance, okay? I promise you, next to each other, you will not tell the difference. It's that good. Mystic UK is so good. It's so long lasting. It's like, what? Are you kidding me? It has that sweetness to it. It has the fresh cleanness to it as well. It's just a fragrance that is a pretty girl fragrance, basically. That's what this is. This is one that would also make a perfect bridal fragrance, just like Valaya. If you know all the elements or aspects of that fragrance, you're going to get that in here as well. This is one that just stays with you throughout, okay, not throughout the day, but for about six to eight hours and it projects really, really well. I would want to put a disclaimer. I spray a lot of my clothes. When it's one that I would say do only two sprays, I'm very clear about that. But if I don't say it, I'll just know that I literally bait myself with my fragrances and that's how I get the full wear or experience that I speak about, okay? So I do that with my fragrances. I spray a lot. And spraying this a lot has given me great wear. Now, this is a fact. You must get this fragrance, okay? <laughs> if you love your pistachio fragrances, if you're looking for an ice cream fragrance that has some nuttiness to it, a slight lemony take to it with some booziness, you have to get this fragrance. Now, if you have tried the Young Pistachio Gelato by Kayali um, and you're still holding off on getting it or you're not the biggest fan, Please get this fragrance. I'm talking about Kai by Paris Corner. And this is giving me so much life, okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. The first time I smelled this, my eyes literally rolled to the back. Um, okay, probably exaggerating, but I'm like, oh, my God. That was my actual reaction when I smelled this the first time. It is pistachio done right. It is creamy. It is fresh, it is boozy, it is sweet. It has just the perfect combination of notes that works so well. Again, as always, we're going to talk about the packaging. Look at this gorgeous bottle made of glass, and it looks like a pillar in a castle as well. The cap is made of gold. I just love, 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 love this. And again, this is an ode to pistachio, hence the color green. This is just a gorgeous fragrance, long lasting, smells beautiful. This is for those who love their gourmand notes. This is done right. I don't have a lot of ice cream winning fragrances, but this is one that I have just been enjoying so much. I'm literally holding myself back from making this my scent of the day every day since I got it because it's a new launch as well. So gorgeous, gorgeous one. They did so well with their duping or replica of Yum Pistachio Gelato by Kiali, and I just love this one so much. This is the fragrance that will go at any time of the year. I won't restrict it to any season at all because it works. It's just about how you spray it, and this is also one I would say you can go ham with it when you're spraying because... I don't see a scenario where someone would not really enjoy this fragrance, in my opinion, okay? Or maybe I'm surrounded by people who enjoy sweet <laughs> notes or sweet fragrances. Nonetheless, this is just a stunner, in my opinion. And I would say top three of all the fragrances I've listed here is Kyer. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I need more people to speak about it because I feel, I, I, not I feel, I know there is another dupe of Young Pistachio Gelato in the market. I can't remember the name. I really do not care for it. But, and I think more people are focusing on that. You need to wake up and look at Kaya. 
they delivered with this one and it's just beautiful okay next i've got francis 6355 and this is such a sleek minimalistic packaging i just love the way it looks and it actually came in a wooden box but i got rid of that it was just too clunky for me i just love the way it looks this way very minimalistic and sleek you can put it in your bag just be on the go with it and it just works for me now fan 66355 is uh fragrance world's take on uh Gris chanel by bdk parfum and i'm not a fan of that fragrance i'll be honest with you it is too intense in the way the tea smells in that fragrance with the fig uh, it's just too much for me to deal with but 63.55 is what i needed and i'm so happy that fragrance world delivered this is also one that i would say is perfectly unisex it it's literally in the cusp so men can wear this easily women can wear this easily and i feel that if you love the dna of Brie chanel uh you should definitely feel safe getting 63.55 now I know we have Liam Balatafa, which has been a hit in terms of being a great dupe of Gris Chanel, but I consider 6355 to be a better contender, in my opinion, and I feel more people should definitely check this out because it's really, really good, and it has that sweetness that I feel is missing from Liam and also Gris Chanel. So, Slept Town Fragrance, in my opinion, and one you should check out. This is Francis. 6355. Now, Ahmed Almagribi is a brand that is being slept on. A very, very underrated brand, okay? They're an Arabic fragrance house and they have so many amazing fragrances that are just of great quality, long lasting. If I recall, they use a lot of premium uh, extract oils. Uh, when creating their fragrances, so they are guaranteed to last. Now, I have two fragrances from them, starting off with Anab. I love this one so much. This I describe as a fun, flirty, feminine fragrance. And another bottle with the ombre vibe to it. You have a yellow and pink here, just so pretty. It has like a disco ball type of cap and the signature rectangular design from Ahmed Almagribi. This is just a beautiful combination of fruits, gourmand, and flowers. So you have kiwi, uh, white chocolate, and vanilla combined in this fragrance to give you something very lush. Now, it doesn't seem as if the DNA is unusual, uh, but it just sets it apart with that white chocolate, making it very sweet and addictive. If you sniff this very quickly, you will think that it's giving you that herba pura vibe, just very slightly. But if you spray it, it's different. It's different from it. The white chocolate just gives it that sweetness. The kiwi gives it a fruitiness that is sort of, you know, just different. I don't know how to describe this. This is one of those fragrances that are hard to describe. Just know that it is very fruity. It is floral and it is sweet. This is one that you can wear at any time of the year as well. But it is so feminine a fragrance. It's one that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. It lasts so long. It also makes me happy. This is on my list of fragrances that makes me really happy. As you can see, I have a huge <laughs> smile on my face just talking about Anab as a fragrance. Now, when I was getting my hair braided about a month or two ago, I wore this to my braider salon and she's literally stopped me as I was walking. She's like, I need the name of this fragrance right now. I'm buying it right now. And there and then she purchased it because it smells so beautiful. It has a great cloud or bubble that it creates around you and it lasts. I'm telling you, my braid were my braids were for about nine hours. And at the end of the day, it was still projecting really, really well. I mean, it's not a huge piece of projector, but that bubble it creates around you stays throughout the wear of this fragrance. And I love it so much, okay? So if you love your white chocolates, if you love your kiwi, if you love your floral notes, think about this. This is something you should definitely consider getting. I don't know that you can get a sample of this, but I feel that this is a blind buy type of fragrance. But uh, as always sample first i love it very 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 underrated this is anab by ahmed almagribi okay doing a complete 180 we've got marge also by ahmed almagribi and this 
is for those who enjoy their old fragrances. You have to be a fan of those very indolic, fickle, animal-like, barnyard type of wood to enjoy this one. This is not a sweet fragrance. This is not like a safe fragrance. This is one for those who are true wood lovers. And I am a true wood lover, and that's why I have this fragrance. And I feel that it's so underrated because when we talk about real wood, we don't hear this being mentioned. You hear things like wood satin wood extra. You hear wood wood. You hear wood like fragrances like mysterious wood and the other offerings by Botnikov. Well, you don't hear this one. This should be on that list. This is quite strong. It's very intense. This one has also some saffron that gives it a slight sweetness in the dry down, making it almost smell like dark chocolate in the dry down. But that opening, the opening is very in your face. <laughs> now, I feel like those in the Middle East or Africa would really enjoy this because my home country of Nigeria, we love our ouds. And, you know, those in the warmer climates, like I've mentioned, Middle East, enjoy wearing their ouds. So if you're watching this and you're from those regions or any of those regions, this is going to be a baby. It stays, okay? It will stick to your clothes for like days. It's not the biggest projector, but it will stick to your clothes. Now, this is when I would say you're wearing to a function. Wearing out, you don't want to waste it because in its uh, barnyardness, it also has something very luxurious to it as well. There's something that tells you that this is not the run-of-the-mill type of wood. This is especially uh, cut out or sought after wood utilized in this fragrance. It's very, very hard to describe, but just know that this is for those of wealth. Like, <laughs> if you're of wealth, you have to try this fragrance. If you're of wealth, yeah, that's the kind of wood used here. It's a bit confusing, I know, but those who get it, get it. If you know, you know, okay? So for strong wood lovers who want something different, a little bit of edge, please check out March. I'm obsessed with it. I love my ouds, but some of you may not, and those of you who do, you're sleeping on this one. It's March by Ahmed Alma Grivy. Now tell me why this had a hype at some point and then it died down like no longer exists. Like, are you serious? What's going on? <laughs> I'm talking about Oud 24 Hours by Odd Al Zafran, and this is just an incredible take on Black Orchid by Tom Ford. You got to look at the bottle. Uh, nothing extraordinary, but I just think it's pretty nice. Black and gold, of course, with an interesting cap. Now, U24 Hours is my baby, okay? This is literally Black Orchid one-to-one. -one. And the more you allow this to age and sit, the stronger it gets. I mean, it's already strong right off the top, but the more it sits in, the better it gets, the more intense it gets, the more potent it gets. This is all about your patchouli, your dark chocolate, your truffle, your orchid, of course, some incense. This is such an intoxicating, addictive fragrance. This is a sensual fragrance. Literally, everything you're expecting or you're getting from Black Orchid, and I'm talking about the original formulation because, of course, there's been a lot of reformulations. Black Orchid is no longer as strong as it was. Everything about the OG, you're getting in 24 hours. And baby, this right here will get you the attention. Uh, I love this. <laughs> Those who are fans of Black Orchid because it has a cult following need to smell this. If you are a lover of Black Orchid and you're missing the initial, you know, authenticity that came with that fragrance, the originality of that fragrance, Please run and get U24 Hours by Ad Al Zafran. Like I said, there was a time it had all the hype. I mean, this came out since, what, 2016, 2017? It got some hype, then it just died down. People are acting like this doesn't exist anymore. I'm like, what is going on? This is a gem, an underrated gem. You all are sleeping on this. If you're curating your list of fragrances that are seductive, sensual, but Arabic, get U24 Hours. I'm telling you, this is the one. It will get your attention. It gets me compliments as well. And this is a dark fragrance. You know, that dark, sexy fragrance that is just, it captivates people. Again, just like with Black Orchid, 
You have to know what you're wearing to get it. Don't just go with what I'm saying. You have to possess the persona of Black Orchid to be able to wear it. It's just like you're dressing up for Halloween. You have to know what you're wearing to dress up a certain type of way. <laughs> so the same applies to this fragrance. I'm obsessed with it. I I don't know about getting it back up because it's so strong that I don't know that I can finish this bottle anytime soon. But it's really that good. And you are sleeping on this. Okay? It's a great one to have. This is U24 Hours and it's by Ad Alza. And finally, this is a fragrance from the Latafa Niche Emirati Collection, which is more or less their elevated line of fragrances. This one is called Mogal Fort. And this is one of the most artistically crafted bottles I've seen in a long time. I just have to bring it close to you so you see it. This is what it looks like up close. It's more or less like an edifice. And it has different doors crafted around like, i don't know how they did this you can see the doors the windows around the bottle wow and up, up top as well there is another layer this looks like a museum or a gallery wow and then you have the name of god fort written at the top or um, engraved in the body as well it's a work of art in my humble opinion now I have to bring it back because this is so heavy. You can actually do a workout with this and your arms will be burning. <laughs> so with this fragrance, think of it like you're in a spice market. So you're having a spicy vanilla tea. That's what I'm getting with this fragrance, a spicy vanilla tea. So you're having your vanilla infused with some caramel for some sweetness. Then you mix in your um, pimento, giving it that spiciness as well. It's a bit creamy and warm thanks to the amber note in here. But overall, this is not a fragrance that I would say is like your sweet vanilla. No, this is a spicy vanilla that can be a bit intense if you overspray it. Now, it's not a huge projector, but it's one that gives you like a good performance if you overspray it okay so here you have caramel some cedar wood you have some musk as well with vanilla you have pimento pimento is like pepper it so it adds the spiciness to this fragrance this is one that needs to be experienced to be understood it's not your typical vanilla fragrance okay so yeah definitely check it out more people need to speak about this fragrance try to sample if you can this is mogul fort by la tapa and there you have it if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate you so much i know your light keeps shining thank you for being here with me have you tried any of these fragrances let me know in the comments and also what are some underrated arabic fragrances you have in your collection that i was sharing or talking about please let us know i would love to read from you and i guess others would love to read from you as well so we can expand our collection how about that we love learning and sharing we don't get keep over here okay <laughs> thank you so much for spending the time with me i appreciate you so much please like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't share this video with your loved ones and i can't wait to see you in my next video in fact what would you like for me to talk about arabic fragrances niche fragrances designer fragrances whatever let me know in the comments and i'll definitely get them together for you i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and i cannot wait to see what 2024 has in store for you remember you are shining light you are so beautiful it's incredible like i wish you could see yourself in the mirror you are a work of art and just do not let anyone dim your light okay have a great rest of your day and i'll see you soon